Hello everybody and welcome to my very first Make It With Me Monday. Um, hopefully this turns out the way I want it to. But today I'm going to be telling you how to make my own homemade uh, instant oatmeal. So if you saw me talk about these Nusa containers in a previous video, I said that I do use these um, as containers for instant oatmeal. My husband uh, always eats instant oatmeal for breakfast. And we got very, I say we, I, I got tired of always buying the Quaker Instant Oats. It seemed like we were buying it every week and it was not too expensive, but it did have a lot of chemicals and not um, maybe fresh or artificial flavors in it. So I didn't want him eating that, so I started making our own. So I'm gonna tell you how I do that. It's a very simple and a very customizable recipe. Uh, today I'm just gonna show you how I make kind of his one of his favorites, and it's very, very basic. So you can add anything beyond what I'm going to show you. Um, so the first thing I did is I pre-measured. I've been doing this for a two, two and a half years now. So I know by now how much um, oats should be in the container for about half a cup of oats. So you will need that. And I buy my, sorry the camera movement, I buy my oats in bulk and then I just store them in here. The oats I use are quick oats, um, and it's just how the oats are processed. There's nothing specially done to them. Uh, they're just thinner, they're cut, so they absorb the water quicker. Uh, my husband does use milk in his oatmeal, though. So I start with my oats, and then I go on to my sweetener. You can see my other containers in the background. Mm, you can use whatever sweetener you want. I do recommend using a uh, non-liquid sweetener, so I wouldn't use honey or agave. But if you want to use coconut crystals, things like that, that would be just fine. Uh, he prefers brown sugar, so this is um, maybe a little less than a tablespoon. And I usually just add in a half of my regular spoon. Let's see if it'll focus now. There we go. You can see just a little bit of brown sugar because that's his favorite sweetener. Uh, I don't use white sugar in it and the brown sugar I bought was in the bulk and it's organic. So there's that. The next thing I add now that I have my sweetener is I add in my extra proteins and fiber because the oats do have some protein and fiber but I want to make sure he's really healthy so I have a container of golden flax right here. Again, I bought it in bulk. And I usually buy my bulk items like this when they're on sale. And then I just add, this is a tablespoon. It's not focusing very well, but you can see. So then I add just in my golden flax. I used to get flax meal, but then the store didn't have ground flax meal. I could put this in our Blendtec blender and get flax meal, but that's just the extra stuff that's necessary. This gives it a little bit of texture and it's not too bad. The next thing I do is I add in some chia seeds. This I did not buy in bulk. I bought this quite a while ago and we just haven't gone through it. I just add a little bit of chia seeds. And this part, you can customize it if you don't like chia seeds, if you don't like flax. Those are not necessary uh, ingredients to add in. But I add them in for the omega-3s, the good fats. I add them in for protein. I add them in for fiber. And it gives the oatmeal a little bit more texture. So then, what I add is my spices. First one I have is ground cinnamon. And this we got quite a while ago, so we're still going through it. We have a Costco membership. And I just added in just a little bit. I don't measure my spices. That's actually quite a lot. It poured out really fast, but that's okay. It's all right. Um, 
And then what I add in is ground ginger. This, I reused the container and I just recently bought more ginger. So add in a little bit of that. Sorry for the camera shaking. Ginger is good for your immune system. And so that's why I added in to his oatmeal. And then I add in ground nutmeg. You can put in whole nutmeg and do it. Um, this is just what I have on hand. Uh, but I have, I do have whole nutmeg somewhere else. This is also easier for the video. So and just a little bit of nutmeg, and then I add in a little bit of clove. So it's a little bit pumpkin spicy. Just a little bit of clove. I don't want it too spicy. And then once you have your base done, oh man, I might need another half of this. I, I'm trying to get this jar open, which I will say what it is in just a second. Here, get a nice close-up of my oatmeal container while I open my jar. There we go. I needed two hands for this, guys. Obviously, I needed two hands for this. I didn't think that part through. But it's my first Make It Monday. So these guys are raw shelled sunflower seeds. My husband loves sunflower seeds and so I add them to his oatmeal. And I'll just add about that much. And then that's it. That is my basic oatmeal recipe. Um, I have used other nuts, I've used pecans, I've used walnuts, I've used almonds. You could put in peanuts if you like it. Um, we've put in dried fruit, uh, cranberries, raisins, those are fine. And then we've also added in chocolate chips or cocoa powder would also be a good addition to this basic oatmeal recipe. And then how I store it is I just shake it up now it's all mixed. I put the lid on top and then I store it on the shelf. When I make these, I have about 12 containers, so it's about a two week supply for him. And so I'll just lay all the containers out on the uh, counter and I'll make it in like an assembly line. I'll give you a close up of my oatmeal, my husband's oatmeal, his breakfast. It's not focusing very well. There we go, that's a little bit better. And so it's pretty simple, pretty easy. It only takes about five minutes to get everything done. It took a little longer in this video because I'm explaining what I'm doing. But to make 12 of these, it takes about five to 10 minutes every two weeks. And it doesn't have any chemicals. It doesn't have artificial sweeteners in it. It doesn't have any of that. And so it's much healthier. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment or subscribe. This is the very first Make It Monday. So if you want me to show you any of my other recipes, leave me a comment down below because um, I'm trying to put a list together of Make It Mondays. So if you want something, let me know and I will add it to my list. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.